I'm going to show you how to create these ceiling tiles now for the Black Mesa locker room. Just before I do that, i uh, point out that I've created this little indent section here. I'm not sure if I like it, but uh, it is similar to uh, the original. All right. And now what I want to do is work on the ceiling tiles. Okay. They're very easy to do. And I'll show you how I did that. So I've just got one of these squares here. It's the same as the floor. These can just be snapped in. All right. So we're just going to focus on that thing there. And what you're going to notice is that there's three main sort of textures to this. There's the outer light gray part. I'm going to call that the grout for lack of a better term. And then there's like a black border and then there's the pattern you can't see it too well there but uh, you'll see it as we as we build that okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in to this piece right here and i'm going to press i to inset i'm going to pull in but not too much because this is going to be repeated by the tiles that are attaching so that's going to be like the grout area and then i'm going to inset again and we're going to have like a black border, maybe right about there. And then this section is going to have the, uh, the metal grate kind of thing. So that's really all we need is that. So I'm going to look down from the top. I'm going to press A. And I'm going to press U. Project from view bounds. And that's done. All right. Now export this as an FBX. Over in Substance Painter, I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to find that. I called it Ceiling Tile Video bring that in and there it is now right now the the poly is facing upwards like you know not down into the room but I just find it easier to work there than to work on the underside which is very dark or invisible okay let's bake the mesh maps I'm gonna do this at 2k uncheck ID I'm not going to need that There we go. Okay, now it's time to start adding our layers. So we need grout, we need border, and we need that pattern. So I'm gonna add a fill layer. And this one, I'm going to have just color and roughness. I'll drag the roughness up quite far near the top. And for the base color, I just want it just a little bit darker like that. And that's just gonna be our grout. That's all there is to it. You create another fill layer. This one's going to have color and roughness as well. And we're going to make this pretty dark, but not completely black. And this is going to be our border. But we don't want the, the black all over everything. So we're going to add a black mask. And I'm going to come over here to the polygon feel. And I'm going to select there. And I'm going to select the outer part which is really going to be the border itself and the pattern is going to go in in there okay so far so good okay so now we're going to move on to the pattern itself and to do that i'm going to create a folder i'm just going to call this pattern i'm going to create a fill layer and that fill layer i'm going to put inside there and i'm actually going to duplicate it because i want two of them okay one of them is going to be the background for the pattern so let me come back over here and I don't know how well you can see this but all this white stuff here is the the, the pattern underneath that is black all right so that's what I'm creating right there and you'll see what I mean when I see when I when I do this so I'm going to call this pattern background and this itself is the pattern and all that will be in the in the pattern folder okay so for the pattern background it's going to be black so color and roughness make this dark bring the roughness up pretty high let's have a look at the pattern itself i'm going to add a black mask here and i'm come over here to polygon fill and that is going to go right in this section here so on the black mask i'm going to right click and choose add fill come to the properties and where it says grayscale I'm going to come over to the procedurals I'm going to type in metal and I'm going to use this second last one metal grade simple I'm going to drag that over to there okay a couple of things to do here I'm going to change the scale to maybe six 
rotate by 45 degrees I don't want so uncheck that and that might be a little bit much I mean it's up to you mm. not 32 maybe three we could try that okay I'm gonna add a black mask now to the pattern itself click here and now we have the pattern only in the middle we can do a little bit of work on that itself I want to keep color so I'm all clicking that I'm gonna click it's up to you if you want a little bit of height you know to make them stand out a bit uh, roughness I could just leave there and maybe a tiny bit of metallic or to make it sort of shine a little bit like that and that is essentially it there is your pattern all right, and the whole thing. And if you want to keep that, you could create a folder, drag everything into the folder, give this a name like ceiling tile, something like that. And if it's in a folder like that and named, you can right click and choose create smart material. And then it'll always be in your smart materials. Uh, in fact, I'll do another one. I've already got one. So I'll call this ceiling tile video and I'll create a smart material okay ceiling tile video the, the the image the icon of it isn't too convincing but it is there all right in your smart materials and so if you were to delete this and just start you have your your plane your square and you bake the mesh maps you could just drag that in and you've got it and then you can still go back in and, and edit whatever you want all right, so at that point, what you would do is you would need to export the textures. I would just probably go export textures. Um, oh, by the way, give it a name here for the material, like, you know, ceiling tile or something like that. Save the file. That will transfer over. You can export the textures. Choose something like PBR metallic roughness. Choose where you want it. Change this if you want. Click export. And then you just load it up like you load any other substance painter texture in Blender and you will have that and it will come out looking let's see it'll come out looking something like this just keep in mind that the textures are going to be facing upwards in other words it'll be blue upwards and red downwards so either flip the texture into the tile all the way around or you know take it like that and just come in and go all 10 flip and now your tile will be facing downwards and you will have something something like that all right so that's the texture that we that we just built i'll be taking out a couple of these let me just hide them for now and i'll be putting a light in there all right i might do a couple of lights and uh of course there's more modeling to be done but this is where i'm at right now all right so we'll see you next time